this is the unboxing and review of the Milwaukee M18 cordless multi-tool. It's item number 2626-0. It's tool only item, no batteries included. So let's get right to it. So we have the tool, we have here the cutting blade, they included a plunge cut wood. I uh, used this blade with the uh, uh, M12 multi-tool. I will link the video here. Um, it's, it's, this is the other part that you use to basically connect this to the tool itself. Um, there is a product brochure, all the different M18 and M12 tools that Milwaukee sells. Pretty standard packaging. These are the sanding accessories. P120, another P120, P60, P240, and then P80. With obviously the Velcro attachment tool that you use to plug into the M18. It says here M18 because they have a different one for M12 that does exactly the same thing. So so it says here the multi, multi M18 cordless multi-tool. So you see here the accessories and how you attach it, the process on attachment, and then the tool itself, how all the different parts are outlined. Pretty straightforward, pretty standard. So let's get to the tool. So like I said, I uh, owned uh, M12 of this tool. And the M12 is a little bit more ergonomic for uh, usage. It hold, you can hold it a little bit better than this. It's uh, easier to navigate and manage for, uh, especially if, you're, if your hand, arms or hands are tired from working, that tool is a little bit easier on hands to hold. However, as I noted on my previous video, that tool, the M12, has an issue with the battery. It actually, uh, when you put it in a higher speed uh, and you pressure it a little bit to cut wood or anything like that, the battery kicks out, it ejects the battery. So constantly you have to kick the battery back in to get it going, but all of a sudden you will be in the middle of the job and uh, it will stop. And then you would have to kick the battery in and restart uh, again. So this one, because of the battery mechanism, uh, I'm assuming the way this battery latches, I haven't tried this yet. This will not obviously happen and I haven't seen this issue came across in any reviews that I've seen on this product. So um, again, the uh, kind of just to highlight the differences between this one and the M12 at the very high level as I'm looking at this tool, the M12 is uh, more ergonomic uh, for uh, handling, uh, just because of the size, um, is narrower, 
uh, easier, lighter. Um, uh, it doesn't have the quick latching mechanism. The M12 does not have that. This one does, although uh, uh, is not as straightforward as, uh, uh, you know, uh, tools free. You still need to have tool to open this and put the other attachment here. It's not 100% tool free. It's a little easier than um, uh, M12 because you don't require an Allen key. Uh, that being said, I think the M12 is not fully um, useful because of the battery kick out issue that I've experienced with it as I used it uh, a couple of uh, weeks in uh, my remodeling uh, project that I did in my uh, property. So, um, uh, so I chose uh, this one hopefully to see if uh, this one is a little bit more useful because of that issue. Um, the M12 has a, a battery uh, marker here. This one it doesn't because obviously M18 batteries, they do have, uh, they do have uh, uh, built into the battery uh, measurement, uh, which M12 don't, doesn't. So, uh, and, and the speed is the same from two to 12, same as uh, M12. Um, and the switch is exactly the same, same thing, okay? So this tool is uh, 11,000 to 18,000 uh, 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 isolations per minute, um, which is pretty decent uh, for uh, M18. Uh, um, and uh, its uh, uh, the isolation angle is uh, 3.4. Uh, the length of the tool is uh, uh, 11 7 8 of an inch and uh, the weight is 2.65 uh, pounds. So um, let's see how uh, uh, we can connect the blade in. So again, the requirement is the instruction is to fully extend this. And then on this side, we have to uh, open this. Put the blade in, put this part in. To release the blade, so you basically go in reverse, you unlatch this hold away like so, level it out, this becomes loose, and then you turn it a couple of times, and then you pull it out, and that's it. So you just again put it back in like this, and then latch it back and it is all solid there okay so this one is the uh, 5.0 xc battery uh, you could obviously use it with a smaller size battery this one is fairly heavy with this battery so um, we'll start at the lowest speed we'll turn it on pretty loud for this tool. Uh, there is an LED light here. The M12 does not have the LED light. This is pretty handy and I appreciate this light. It dims uh, out pretty nicely, but the tool is pretty loud uh, and you feel the vibration. Uh, the interesting thing about it, because it's not a fuel tool, they do not make this multi-tool in any variation as a fuel tool. And um, which is basically um, a different experience when you get used to brushless tools uh, because you do actually smell um, the motor and you see the sparks uh, uh, in, inside the kind of uh, motor housing, which um, um, is not as uh, obviously robust as brushless uh, tools. Some of the competitors, they've already released their brushless uh, multi-tool uh, to the market. Milwaukee hasn't yet. Uh, I think uh, 
the customer community probably is looking forward to have those tools in a fuel variations as well so um, uh, the uh, price that I paid uh, through uh, Home Depot is uh, $119 plus tax um, my impression is that if I didn't have the battery kick out issue with the M12 I would have preferred that tool over this one uh, for uh, a single reason of uh, the way it handles uh, however this one has the LED light um, it, uh, because of the how battery latches into this uh, the way the battery latches it will not have the battery kick out issue obviously uh, so that's a plus uh, the speed is the same uh, the quick release mechanism is uh, better than the M12 because obviously you don't require uh, Allen key to put in and out uh, these uh, blades and uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video please uh, subscribe and uh, like the video and uh, let me know if you have questions take care